Hey everybody, Ian here at Able City, and today we're going to check out the XDCA. This is the extension unit for the Sony FS7 camera. Now the FS7 on its own allows us to shoot a wide range of resolutions and different codecs, but when we add the extension on, now we have the ability of raw photography, and coming soon we're going to have the ability to do ProRes to the internal cards as well. But before I show you how to do the RAW, I want to uh, just give you a quick tour and show you inputs and outputs. Looking at the back of the extension unit, we have a traditional V-Lock here so that we can use V-Lock batteries. If we choose not to go that path, we can also go in and we could use a 4-pin XLR. Also, we have uh, features here that allow us to uh, do multi-camera. So we have a gen lock, we have a ref out. And we also have time code in and out. Notice that we have a switch here that designates which way uh, the time code signal is going. And a single BNC here, which is what is going to allow us to send that raw signal out for recording. And they also included a four pin Hiroshi. This is uh, 11 to 17 volt output with a two amp load on it for accessories. Now that I have everything set up and I'm setting my 4K raw signal to an Odyssey 7Q, I want to show you some of the setups in the camera. So I'm here in my menus and I've gone down to the system. And first thing notice in my base setting, I have the camera set up for Cine EI and S Gamut Cine 3. It must be set up in Cine Gamma in order for the raw recording to take place. If I go down to Kodak and I open this up, Notice that I have choices here in terms of my RAW photography. I'm shooting RAW 4K files with an XAVC long gop codec in HD being recorded to the internal media simultaneously right now. But I also have the choice to do an intraframe XAVC or MPEG. Being able to record RAW and HD simultaneously can be a huge help on set and in post. On set, I can take that internal media put those shots onto a editing platform and pull selects. Export those selects as an XML file, and then later in post, I can input my 4K footage and using that XML file from the HD edit, import only the 4K raw shots that were on that timeline. This is saving you a lot of time and effort in getting just the 4K raw shots processed that are actually gonna be used for the edit. I wanted to take a moment and just show some of the menus in the Odyssey 7Q, but first you're going to notice that on the screen right now, the image is being presented to us in log, and we have the ability by hitting the LUT button on the 7Q to bring up a LUT and apply a look to it. If I go into the menus, I choose camera. You're going to notice that FS7, 700 are chosen. And all the way to the right, you'll see that we are recording raw files out of the camera, and they are being recorded in a format known as DNG. Also notice that you have a variety of other options to record and convert that 4K recording. That's my quick tour of the XDCA extension for the Sony FS7 camera. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.